Last week, I made a video where I assigned each of the seven deadly sins to warrior cats. Since then, a lot of people have asked me when I'm covering the seven heavenly virtues, and when I'm going to apply both the seven deadly sins and seven heavenly virtues to Wings of Fire. Joke's on you, I planned all the scripts before I even posted that video, because I calculated everything using analytics, and I knew it was going to be hit. So you're going to have to sit back and wait for the Wings of Fire videos to come out, but until then, here's the the seven heavenly virtues as warrior cats. The first virtue is chastity. Chastity is an odd virtue to define for cats. Simply put, chastity is abstaining from relationships outside of marriage. So no cheating whatsoever, or just not having any relationships at all, and dedicating yourself to one thing. Of course, the first thing that comes to mind when you hear about chastity are the medicine cats. Medicine cats swear not to have kits or take a mate, though many of them violate that rule. Some medicine cats, however, have had feelings and rejected them. An example of that is Cinder Pelt, who supposedly had a crush on her mentor, Firestar. Despite that, she never chased after him or any other cat, and instead focused on her duties. Outside of medicine cats, Thrush Pelt is a strong contender for having chastity. Outside of the fact that he doesn't have any kits, he's incredibly dedicated to blue fur. Thrush Pelt always had a crush on blue fur. Perhaps that's why when she started claiming her kiss for his, he claimed them, even though he knew they couldn't possibly be his. He treated them as if they were his own, and was devastated when Badger supposedly killed the kits, working to help reinforce ThunderClan's camp so nothing bad could ever happen to kits in the clan ever again. Next, we have temperance. Temperance means abstaining from taking too much, whether that be eating, drinking, fighting, etc. The cat who embodies temperance would need to be very level-headed and willing to reject great amounts of power. It was very hard to find a cat who embodies temperance more than any other virtue, however then I realized that temperance could also mean abstaining so others could partake. Thus, any cat who had made a big sacrifice could be eligible for temperance. So I was left with two options, one who rejects power and one who makes a sacrifice. This can be one and the same. A character who embodies the first one is Bramblestar. Early into his life, Bramble's claw was judged for being the son of Tigerstar, the tyrannical leader of Tiger Clan. However, he kept a cool head and never let others' judgments of him get the better of him. After he became deputy, he was given an easy path to leadership when Hawk Frost pinned Firestar down using a fox trap. Instead of taking the easy way out and killing Firestar, he killed Hawk Frost and freed Firestar, showing him rejecting great power. After its incident, he also stopped talking to his father, Tigerstar. When Greystripe returned from his adventure, Brambleclaw was ready to give his deputy ship back to Greystripe, the opposite of ambition and pridefulness that his father had. However, he ended up keeping it in the end, as Greystripe wanted to become a warrior and focus on his relationship with Millie, his new mate. After temperance, leave charity. Charity is doing something for someone else, even though it does not benefit you, and might even harm you. I feel like the perfect emblem of charity's Firestar. And he's also a perfect emblem of a lot of other virtues, but hey, we need to put other cats on this list too. Firestar has partaken in many charitable actions. The first one that I can think of is helping Ravenpaw escape from ThunderClan. While he could have been accused of assisting Ravenpaw in his crimes because of helping him, next he helped to exile Brokenstar, even though it was ShadowClan's business, and many cats in his paws would have left them alone, as we can see with what happened in A Vision of Shadows and A Starless Clan. He's gone against his leader and the code in order to help out cats numerous times. He fed Yellowfang when she was a rogue. He went behind Blue Star's back in order to prevent a battle between ThunderClan and WindClan when she was turning senile. He and Greystripe helped to hunt for RiverClan when they were running out of prey as well. And they also brought back WindClan, even though WindClan are the natural enemies to, well, ThunderClan. When his old friend Smudge appeared with strange dreams, he didn't hesitate to help him out. Upon learning of SkyClan from Cloudstar, he immediately wanted to help them too, even when Blue Star and the rest of StarClan disapproved and thought there should only be four clans because of the Four Oaks. In fact, he said something along the lines of, You seriously kicked out an entire clan just because there were fo only four trees there? He's harmed his health in order to help others numerous times. During an outbreak, a green coffee stayed at a sick camp with all the sick cats, even though it resulted in him losing a life. I feel like it cannot be disputed that Firestar is one of the most charitable characters in Warrior Cats. Next up, we have Diligence. Diligence means doing something no matter how hard it is to do. A diligent cat may face many challenges but still persevere. A commonly overlooked character who is diligent is Hawkwing. 
Hawkwing became deputy at a young age, after the death of his own father, the deputy Sharpclaw. His father's death was partially his fault, as he invited the rogues who would kill Sharpclaw into the clan. Despite that, he knew that Sharpclaw would want him to be deputy, so while he mourned, he was still dutiful and took care of his clan. He lost his mate, Pebbleshine, during a hunting trip. Though he was depressed from it, he never let himself slip into despair, and kept hopeful that he would see her or his kits one day in the future. Whilst his kits were missing, he was the foster father for another litter of kits. It must have hurt seeing kits that were around the same age that his should have been. However, he knew that they badly needed a father, and he himself felt as though he needed kits, so he continued on and was a father figure to them. During the journey of Sky Clan to the lake, the Sky Clan cats were lost many times, waiting for a sign from Star Clan. Though some cats gave up faith and decided to become loners and kitty pets, Hawkwing knew that Star Clan would eventually provide a sign and kept his head up, making him the perfect character to represent diligence. Before we continue, if you are new to this channel, please think about subscribing. I regularly post both Wings of Fire and Warrior Cats content so you'll never be bored. And to my current subscribers, thank you so much for supporting me. I wouldn't have gone here without y'all. After that, we have patience. Patience means waiting and waiting, even though the day to carry out what needs to be done might not ever arrive. An obvious example that comes to mind is Skywatcher. Skywatcher was born into a dying clan as Sky. Though he was not a part of the warrior code, he was raised with stories of it from his mother, Low Branch. He was also mentored by Pricklenose, another cat from the remnants of Sky Clan. As he grew older, his littermates began to leave the gorge. However, Sky stayed. Even as he became an elder, he kept to the gorge, earning the name Mooney because of his dedication to observing the ritual of the full moon. When Firestar and Sandstorm arrived, he was a bit combative and disbelieving in their plan to turn kitty pets into warriors. But deep in his heart, he knew it was the only way to get the Sky Clan he'd always heard and dreamed of to become reality. So he joins Firestar and Sandstorm in their quest. After moons of efforts and years of waiting, Sky was finally awarded with his warrior name, Sky Watcher. He was also a part of the clan that he dreamed of being in his entire life. Soon after, he told Firestar a prophecy that he had held on to for years, and then passed away in his den, at home in the clan that he'd helped to revive. Though Skywatcher struggled a lot in his life, he kept patient and believed in the Will Star Clan, and all the stories that he'd heard. He was rewarded by his patience when Sky Clan was revived by Firestar, and he went to Star Clan to join all of his ancestors from Sky Clan. Now we have kindness. Kindness is a trait of being friendly and considerate to everyone. In the harsh, brutal, blood-filled world that the cats reside in, it's hard to find a character who is kind to everyone. Perhaps the only characters untainted by the brutality of the world are the kitty pets, and perhaps the medicine cats who live by their own unique code. However, the medicine cats still aren't fully kind. Cats like Hawkheart and Chiveclaw prove that. However, there is one background medicine cat who I feel is very kind. Willow Shine is a background character. She's enough of one that she doesn't have her own book, but she has arguably been more important in the plot than Hawkwing, who has his own super edition, despite being rarely relevant in the main series. The first hints that Willow Kit was meant to be a medicine cat happened to when she was just a kit. Willow Kit volunteered in the healer's den to help out after several of her clanmates were poisoned by two legs. When a cat started choking on Yarrow, Willow Kit didn't hesitate to step in and clear out his airway with her small paws. Willow Kit enjoyed the feeling of helping out other cats, and so she asked if she could become a healer. Unlike some other Mezen cats, she didn't need a sign from Starkland in order to be convinced to become a healer. She chose to do so by herself, showing her kind nature, and Starkland fortunately accepted her. However, Willow Paw's mentor, Mothwing, didn't believe in Starkland. Because of that, Feathertail and Leafpool stepped in as her mentors and guides to omens and various signs that she may encounter as a healer. Willowpaw, like a lot of other healers, made connections outside of her clan. She was friends with Hollypaw, and it is a common headcanon that the two crushes on each other, as their relationship parallels the romantic one between Limepaw and Heverpaw that was happening at the same time. Willowpaw grew into the role of Medicine Cat of River Clan. Willowpaw grew up to be Willow Shine. She ended up replacing her mentor at all Half Moon meetings, as Mothwing didn't believe in Star Clan. After Misty Star figured out that Mothwing was a healer and she didn't believe in Star Clan, the new leader made her a warrior. Willowshine fought for her former mentor until she was reinstated into her position as healer. Willowshine offered to help Leafpool train Puddlepaw, the Shadow Clan healer apprentice who had been left without a mentor from his clan. 
though she was turned down, offering to help him was kind. After the kin took over River Clan, both Willow Shine and Mothwing kept a camp in order to help the most injured of warriors, even though they were putting their own lives on the line. When River Clan was still recovering and was closed off to the other clans, Willow Shine defied her leader in order to tell Alderheart about an important vision. Willow Shine helped to find Sky Clan after they left during the raging storm. Later, when Ashford dragged Scrollflight into the Dark Forest, she joined a patrol to find her. She was ambushed as soon as she arrived in the Dark Forest and killed, but as a spirit, she continued to try and save the trapped spirits. Willow Shine is an example of kindness which lasted not just through her lifetime, but after it as well. And we are down to the final virtue, humility. Humility is being humble and down to earth, even if you have reasons to be proud. A cat who embodies humility would have a lot of accomplishments, but not like gets at her head. Like Firestar who actually fits for each example in the seven heavenly virtues as I pointed out earlier. So Firestar, but not Firestar, who could fit that? In my opinion, it is none other than his best friend for life slash somewhat romantic partner, Graystripe. Firestar has a great number of accomplishments, but people tend to forget that Graystripe was right there besides him throughout the entire thing. That starts with when he helped Firestar retrieve the Lost Wing Clan cats in Fire and Ice. When Firestar was off searching for Sky Clan, Graystripe went from being the deputy to the leader of Thunder Clan. During his short stint as leader, he had to deal with a newly revived Blood Clan. He and the three other clans also had to deal with a badger attack. After he got captured by two legs, Graystripe became a kitty pet. However, he soon realized that he couldn't live forever like that, and he and his newfound mate, Millie, journeyed back to the clans. Upon arrival, he learned that he had been replaced as a deputy by Brambleclaw. Graystripe was a better choice for deputy than Brambleclaw at the time. He was more experienced for one. Also, he had led the clan for longer, not just as deputy, but as temporary leader during crisis. However, Graystripe decided to pass up the role and allow Brambleclaw to have it, recognizing how hard the Tom had worked for his position. Graystripe later became leader once again after the imposter took over the clan, becoming leader once more left in disillusion with life, so he decided to travel back to the old territories in hopes of going to the Moonstone and regaining contact with, with Star Clan. Whilst there, he encountered Warrior Clan. Though he looked down on them slightly, he remembered his old former kitty pet friend in his own time as one and decided to help them out and teach them the true ways of warriors. Upon returning to the clans, he helps invade the Dark Force in order to save Scrollflight from the imposter. He and the other living cats who were part of the mission were dubbed Lights in the Mist and were granted an ability to change the code. However, Graystripe never lorded his status over the other cats and kept humble. He died soon after gaining his title, surrounded by his kin. And those were all the seven heavenly virtues as warrior cats. Sorry for this video being so short, it just sort of ended up that way. I have no clue how, as it has a similar page count to the seven deadly sins video. But you know, sometimes my paragraphs are just spaced differently. Some paragraphs are longer than others, etc, etc. But do you think any cats don't fit their virtue? Are there any more cats who I didn't mention who you think would fit a virtue? Comment down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I post Warrior Cats and Wings of Fire videos pretty regularly, so your support would be appreciated. And to those who have already subscribed, thank you so much for your support. I couldn't have gone here without you. Peace, Rogan out.